Hey guys, my name is Scobie. Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're going to be doing an unboxing and first impressions of the Secret Labs Titan 2022 chair. I'm currently sitting on it at the moment. Let's see how it holds together. So the first thing I want to mention is I've had this chair in my possession for about a week now. I wanted to do my first kind of weak impression of this chair and to give a full breakdown of how I feel like it is. I will do a follow up then in a couple of months to see how it holds up, to see if my impression has changed a little bit at all and how I feel the chair is overall. So my very first impressions of the chair, it's very, very expensive. There's a lot of competition in the chair markets, especially in this gaming chair style at a lot of different price points. There's a lot of different office chairs to compete with, and this is definitely not one of the cheaper options on the markets, but they're definitely going for that high-end luxury. So the very first thing to keep in mind is this chair is not cheap. I did manage to get this on Black Friday for 540 euro. So this is the XL Black Soft Weave version. For me, the soft weave version was the easy choice. However, choosing between the color and the size was a little bit more difficult. For me, there was two color options I had the most interest in. One is the black version I'm sitting in right now, and the second was the cookies and cream. I felt like the cookies and cream might have added a nice contrast, but once you have a soft weave, any sort of stains will stand out in it as soon as they land anything on the chair. So I ended up going with the black version you can see right behind me, and I'm not disappointed. It's not too dark. It still has a little bit of texture with a little bit of black dots, a little bit of kind of ripple effect around it. And I think overall, it's really, really nice. It's not too dark. It's not too gamery. It would fit in most office environments without being too much of an eyesore, but it still looks professional and clean, which I really like. Now, in terms of sizing, I did go with the XL model. I was thinking a lot about going with the regular model as I fit more into size specifications for that. So for me, I'm around 5 foot 11, 180 centimeters, and somewhere around 90 kilograms. I'm not really sure how many pounds that is, but I'll put it somewhere on screen. So I'm not very tall, but I am quite white in the hip department and the chest department. So for me, I wanted to get a nice large chair that I can kind of sprawl my legs out in and really sink into. I'm not a fan of chairs that hug my back and kind of restrict my back movement too much. So I decided to go with the XL model over the regular model, and I have no real complaints about this at all. I feel like the size here for me is not an issue. It actually gives me a bunch of room to play with. My feet have no problem touching the floor, although your mileage may vary depending on how tall your legs are. But if you're like me and you've any sort of a wider back or a wider chest area and you like to spread your legs a little bit, I would definitely recommend the XL model, although I will loop back to that a little bit later as well. So now we know what chair we have, let's talk about the unboxing and the installation process. Now I'm sure if you're watching this video, you've already watched a bunch of other Secret Lab chair videos. Now I will mention the setup process is super easy. I did this completely by myself and the whole process took around 30 minutes and that's including setting up the camera and taking my phone out for a couple of B-roll shots. If I didn't do that, I probably could have had it up in 20 minutes if I really wanted to. And this is totally possible to do by yourself if you're a little bit stronger. Although if you do struggle with some kind of heavier things, having a second person would definitely make this process a little bit easier. So all of the tools and everything needed is inside the box and it's really nicely laid out. Now I'm not going to go into real detail on the full setup process, although I will share some b-roll and some on-screen footage right now of how that went, but for me I had no issues with it whatsoever. A couple times I did have to second guess myself with the instructions, but I didn't really need to do any external searching, it just took a second or two to really catch my bearings. There is quite a lot of individual pieces in this chair. But once you have an idea and really take some time to read the documentation, kind of get a bearing on everything inside the box, it's a totally easy, smooth setup process. Now, in terms of dimensions and adjustability, I will be leaving some information on screen as well as linked in the description down below. Thankfully, Secret Labs has laid out all of the basic details of the chair, including the height, the back, the depth of the seat itself, and all of the different requirements. As mentioned, I am using the XL, so there's a couple things that change depending on where you want to go with. But in terms of adjustability on the chair, we do have quite a lot. So we do have height on the chair, so we can change how far the seat is from the floor. We do have 4D armrests, as they are called. We have height of the armrests. We have the rotation of the armrests, we have the depth, how far in or out we want to go, and we also have horizontal depth, so how far they are from your actual body. So you have really a lot of different options when setting this up, and I feel in terms of making the perfect ergonomics here, they are really nice. Now the actual arm pads themselves are also quite solid. They're not too cushy, but they do give a nice bit of feedback. And if you are someone who likes to lift themselves up using the armrest on their chair, you'll have no issue with this whatsoever. They feel totally solid and totally firm, and they didn't have any issues in that department when setting this up. 
Now, in terms of the cushion, as you can see, there is actually no strap on this, and that's because this is set up using a magnetic cushion. For me, I was a little bit iffy on this at first, if it was going to be strong enough to stay back here, but as you can see, it comes off relatively easy. Now, there's not a huge amount of adjustment. There is a little bit of height and a little bit of horizontal movement here with this, but you cannot move it completely up and down freely as you would if it had a strap around it, but I think this is a much cleaner design. For me, I've had no issues with this falling down too much, now I will mention there's a little bit less magnetic strength versus when I first got it. So I'm not sure how that will hold up a long term, but overall the initial first impressions of this is it's really cool. And for me, as mentioned, I'm 180 centimeters. The actual height and position for this is super nice. I'm not someone who typically sits back. I typically have an upright position, but I kind of leave my head a little bit floating from it. But when I'm trying to sit back and get comfortable, I feel like it's really nice. And I feel the position here is pretty good overall for this. Now, of course, we can lean back with this chair as well, and it goes back really, really flat, almost to 180 degrees. For me, it's a little bit uncomfortable, and I feel a little bit worried, even though I know this chair can handle it. I don't like going back that far, so I will never really go back that far with this chair, but it is nice that you have this option. We also have the pivot on the chair, so you can really get the nice position of this. And with the new 2020 models, we also have some lumbar support that is adjustable using two twist dial knobs on the side of our chair. To actually bring the chair back, we have a handle on the side of our chair that's really easily adjustable. So overall, the adjustments on this chair are top notch. We have a lot of different options from lumbar to height to pivot to armrests to even a removable magnetic pillow. It's really, really cool to see all these different options on this chair. And the very first thing that came to my mind when I sat down on this chair is, wow, it's firm. My previous chair before this was the IKEA Marcus. And I did read a lot of different reviews before buying it. And I did hear this feedback a lot. So I was a little bit shocked to actually have it said out loud for me when I first sat down on the chair. But after a couple of days, this actually wore off. And now I feel like it's a really comfortable chair. And sitting on the Marcus feels a little bit uncomfortable and a little bit uncanny, almost too cushiony. I definitely don't feel like it's too firm of a chair, but I feel like if you're used to a more comfortable or cozy chair, I will describe it as, this is gonna be a big shock when you first start to sit on this chair. Now I didn't actually test this chair or anything, beforehand sadly there's no real way to do it there's not really a warehouse or anywhere you can go and sit on this chair so i really kind of took blind fate based on all the reviews but after a couple of days i can really say that sitting on this chair is very very comfortable i feel like it really supports me and i think the extra adjustments and support really give a lot of extra comfort here that you get on top of more of a basic chair like the ikea marcus However, if you do like a really cushiony kind of comfortable couch chair, this one is definitely not for you. You'd be better off looking at some other options on the market. So overall, the initial impressions, I think it's an absolutely fantastic chair. You can see everything, including the build, the materials, the unboxing process, the setup process, the documentation, everything included in this chair. It's really built to be premium. It's really built to last, and it's really built to be impressive and kind of look stylish and be a high end chair. However, I do feel the price and positioning of this chair is still quite high for a lot of people. But if you know what you're looking for and you know what your expectations are when buying this chair, I definitely think it's a nice chair. But for me, it's still difficult to justify this kind of price for a chair. I am quite happy with it. I was, of course, in a position to buy this. However, I would definitely not recommend going out of your way to buy this if you have to borrow money or if you're buying it on sort of payment plan. I would recommend getting a cheaper chair instead of going for something like this. While all the premium features are nice, I think you will be just as happy with a cheaper chair or even something like an Ikea Marcus. But if you're looking for something more premium, my initial impressions here are it's a very, very nice chair. And from all the gaming chairs I've sat in in the past, this is by far the best. I definitely think with the extra lumbar support, it is going towards those higher end chairs. I think it has a lot of nice options here. And I definitely am impressed with this chair from my initial impressions. And so far, I definitely recommend it as long as you're aware of what you're buying and what the pros and cons are of this. But I think it's a very versatile chair with a lot of options. And I would definitely recommend it as long as you're in the position to get a chair like this. Anyway, guys, that's been my first impressions of the Secret Labs Titan 2022. Again, as mentioned, this is the black Softweave XL model. I really like the styling of it and I think it's a nice chair. I want to take this moment to give a huge shout out to the channel members, Sean Daly and Joshua Davis. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you'd like to have your name shout out in future videos or some other perks, be sure to click the join button or any video on the channel. It would really help me out. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.